May your love be one based on freedom. For though our hands will touch, it is our hearts that we hold together. When you hold your love with your heart, you radiate a light from within, which is brighter than all that has lived beyond it. Everything we truly love becomes part of us forever. So take your time and be with each other. There are two candles that are on the altar, each representing your individual lives and the families that have been brought together today. Each light is distinct and separate and yet alone. The same Heavenly Father who gave you your individuality and uniqueness is now giving you to each other. The two shall become one flesh. From now on, what each of you has been individually, you will become together. What will touch your lives as individual will become part of your new life together. Together you will take the candles and carry them to the center flame to light it. And let that center flame represent your new life together being celebrated with God's blessing. As the one center light cannot be divided, neither can your lives be divided. May the one in whose name you are joined, who worked in your lives as individuals, continue to walk with you in your new life together. here today on this beautiful day to celebrate one of life's most treasured moments. It is a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, where two people are gathered and are binding their lives together forever. Who gives this woman to be married? Your mother and I. <laughs> Do you, Megan, take Deke to be your husband? 
to laugh with him and sometimes at him, to go on adventures with him, to support him through life's toughest moments, to be proud of him, to grow old with him, and to find new reasons to love him every day. I do. Do you, Deke, take Megan to be your wife, to laugh with her and at times at her, to go on adventures with her, to support her through life's toughest moments, to be proud of her, to grow old with her, and to find new reasons to love her every day. Yes, I do. Deke, you are the love of my life. Deke, you are the love of my life. My very best friend. My very best friend. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Megan, you are the love of my life. Megan, you are the love of my life. And my very best friend. And my very best friend. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. Of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Deacon Megan, you have vowed in our presence to be loyal and loving towards each other, and you have formalized that bond by the giving and the sharing of rings. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, no one shall separate. You may now kiss your bride. Dear friends and family, it is with great joy I am able to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Westbrook. I know you married a great girl because Megan and I were in the same class all, all the way through Waverly Elementary. 
and Waverly Elementary is not exactly a big school. <laughs> Megan is a very smart, hardworking, fun girl. I'm so happy for the two of you, and congrats, Mr. and Mrs. Westbrook. We used to plan our weddings together, talking about colors and flowers and decorations. And although all of those small things may have changed, the one thing that has always stayed the same is our friendship. I'm so lucky to call you my best friend and to stand with you today as you start this new chapter of Mary's life. Megan, you deserve the world, and I wish you indeed a long and happy life. Wow, you guys are so artistic. Wow. <laughs> you haven't seen the artwork yet. Yeah, you haven't seen the artwork yet. 